33 day preparation for total consecration to Jesus through Mary. From the book, True Devotion to Mary by St. Louis de Montfort. Initial 12 day preparation, emptying yourself of the spirit of the world. Practices for this period, examine your conscience, pray, practice renouncement of your own will, mortification, purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of this preparation should be employed in casting off the spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, the denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience, thus it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ, which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concupiscence of the flesh, by the concupiscence of the eyes, and by the pride of life by disobedience to God's laws and the abuse of created things. Its works are sin in all its forms, and all else by which the devil leads to sin, works which bring error and darkness to the mind, and seduction and corruption to the will. Its pomps are the splendor and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in persons, places, and things. Day 9. Today's reading is from the Imitation of Christ, Book 1, Chapter 13, Continued of Resisting Temptation. Fire tries iron, and temptation adjusts man. We often know not what we are able to do, but temptations discover what we are. Still, we must watch, especially in the beginning of temptation, but then the enemy is more easily overcome. If he be not suffered to enter the door of the mind, but is withstood upon the threshold the very moment he knocks. Whence a certain one has said, resist beginnings, all too late the cure. When evils have gathered strength by long delay, first there comes from the mind a simple thought, then a strong imagination, afterwards delight in the evil motion and consent. And so, little by little, the fiend does gain entrance when he is not resisted in the beginning. The longer anyone has been slothful in resisting, the so much the weaker he becomes daily in himself, and the enemy so much the stronger in him. Some suffer grievous temptations in the beginning of their conversions, others in the end, and others are troubled nearly their whole life. Some are fairly lightly tempted according to the wisdom and equity of the ordinance of God who weighs man's condition and merits, and preordaineth all things for the salvation of his elect. We must not therefore despair when we are tempted, but the more fervently pray to God to help us in every tribulation who, of a truth, according to the sayings of St. Paul, will make such issue with a temptation that we are able to sustain it. Let us then humble our souls under the hand of God in every temptation and tribulation. For the humble in spirit he will save and exalt. In temptation and tribulations it is proved what progress man has made, and there also is great merit and virtue is made more manifest. Prayers for the day. Veni Creator Spiritus. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O font of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. Thou promise of the Father, thou who dost the tongue with power endow. 
kindle our senses from above and make our hearts overflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life beside. O、oh, may Thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and Thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given. With Thou, O Holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Yahweh Mater Stella. Hail, O Star of the Ocean, God's own Mother blessed. Ever sinless Virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness stay, chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us, thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin, all excelling, mildest of the mild. Free from guilt, preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Praise to God the Father, honor to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. The Magnificat of the Blessed Virgin Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation unto generations to them that fear him. He hath shown might in his arm; he hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed for ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning. Is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.